Hey guys, and welcome back to The Time Machine, the show here on the channel where I review any film, TV, any film or TV show mainly with some form of time travel or time manipulation involved. So guys, you've heard of David Bowie and you've heard of his song Life on Mars. So did you ever hear of the 2006 BBC TV series Life on Mars? Named after the song? But James, I hear you saying. Life on Mars is a detective drama. What does it have to do with time travel? Ah, no, no. Hear me out, hear me out on this. Okay. Because here's your synopsis and spoilers ahead. Sam Tyler is a, de is, is a detective chief inspector tasked with bringing in Colin Rames, a criminal who he's after. That is, of course, until he is hit by a car and wakes up in 1973. <laughs> yep, there you go, where he gets caught up in a very Sweeney-esque detective drama. And throughout the series, we see visions of people in 2006 trying to talk to him. Uh, yeah. A la The Wizard of Oz, 1973, by the end of the series... Shock horror was all a comatose dream. <laughs> the uh, the two season show ends with him waking up from his coma. And of course, this show was so popular that it led into the creation of a sequel series, Ashes to Ashes, about a female cop who gets shot and wakes up in the 80s. But I can't review that because I have not seen it all. Okay. But this is a good show. And it's definitely worth a watch if you haven't seen it before. 16 episodes over two series. About a time-travelling policeman. Okay. <laughs> So, that leads me now into saying what I'm going to be reviewing for the next 12 installments, Series 2, episode by episode of Bernard's Watch. Yeah, there you go. So, join me back here for that. <laughs> With... The first episode of that season, very soon. 
think it's called A Bit More Time. Until then, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have us a magical time.